Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about Bluetooth, a Bluetooth application, Bluetooth power classes, Bluetooth attacks, and Bluetooth attack prevention. What is a Bluetooth, and why is it called Bluetooth? Bluetooth is a short-range wireless technology that enables the exchange of data between devices. But why is it called Bluetooth, not Red Tooth or Green Tooth? Well, let me tell you a story. In 1997, James Kardec from Intel. He has nothing to do with Kim Kardashian or the Kardashian sisters. The Jim Kardashian from Intel proposed the code name Bluetooth for this new technology. Bluetooth is the nickname of Danish king Harald in the tenth century. It was said that he has one Bluetooth. The king Bluetooth united different Viking tribes. The technology Bluetooth. Unites different devices. Bluetooth was only intended as a placeholder, a temporary code name, but it has soon become so popular that it was not reasonable to use any other name to replace the name Bluetooth. So we stick to the Bluetooth. I like it. It is a cool name. We are learning technologies and history as well. Even better, the Bluetooth symbol blends the Nordic letters, the initials, Harold Bluetooth, B and H, to the Bluetooth symbol. What is a Bluetooth? Bluetooth operates in the radio band of 2.4 gigahertz to 2.485 gigahertz. It hops between the frequency within that band, and this is called frequency hopping. Bluetooth requires devices are close by to form a connection, and they must appear before the two Bluetooth devices can connect. Once they are connected, Bluetooth transfer files wirelessly. Bluetooth is used to create a personal area network (PAN), which provides a connection among devices such as smartphones, audio devices, computer and mice, keyboards, printers, cameras, tablets, and PDAs. There are three classes of Bluetooth in terms of power output range and uses. Class one. Class one. Maximum power output is 100 milliwatts. The unit milliwatt is very low in power. One milliwatt is one thousandth of a watt. A common home light bulb is between 15 to 100 watts. Thus, milliwatt is very very low in power. The range of Class One Bluetooth is about 100 meters, or more than about 300 feet. Class One Bluetooth is used in industrial areas. Class Two Bluetooth's power output is 2.5 milliwatts, very low. The range is about 10 meters, or About thirty-three feet. Class two is used for mobile devices. Most consumer devices use class two Bluetooth. Class three is even lower in power output. The range is about one meter or about three point three feet, and is rarely used. Now let me talk about security of using Bluetooth. Bluetooth is very convenient to connect different types of digital devices.
But convenience always creates another problem: security. Here I list three types of Bluetooth attacks. The first one is called bluejacking. Bluejacking means sending unsolicited messages like text, images, sounds to nearby Bluetooth devices. The second one is called blue snuffing. Blue snuffing is a type of network attack in which attacker or hacker gains access to wireless devices through Bluetooth. Once the hacker has access to the device, they can steal sensitive user information, including personal photos, contact list, emails, and other personal stuff. The third one is called blue bugging. Blue bugging attacks allows attacker to take over a mobile phone. Attackers can listen on phone conversations, enable call forwarding, sending messages, and more. Hackers are opportunists, and if your device is in the wrong place at the wrong time, bad things could happen. How to stop Bluetooth attacks? First, turn off Bluetooth on your device or make your device undiscoverable. The second is stop passive connectings. Never accept a pairing request from a source you don't know or you don't trust. Last, just be careful. Just beware. Of your surroundings. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.